Diwali, the festival of light, celebrates good over evil, light over darkness, and knowledge over ignorance. This is the festival which teaches you the unity, togetherness, peace, inclusion in diversity. That's what Diwali is all about. Nita Basin produces the second biggest event after New Year's Eve, the Diwali at Times Square celebration every year. She says the meaning of the holiday is the perfect lesson to be taught in New York City schools, where her grandchild is enrolled. She's hoping Mayor-elect Eric Adams steps up to the plate after Mayor de Blasio said there's no room on the school calendar. The school calendar has gotten very, very full. Uh, and, and meritoriously so, some really important additions were needed, such as the Eid holidays uh, and the Asian Lunar New Year holiday. Um, but we also have a, a legal requirement at the state level we have to meet in terms of the number of school days. The tri-state area has the most amount of Indian Americans in the country, according to the U.S. Census. New York Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney introduced a bill to recognize Diwali as a national holiday. Which will enshrine Diwali into law as a federal holiday. Tonight, the Empire State Building will be lit in orange to celebrate Diwali partnering with the Federation of Indian Associations. Basin says recognition on a national level would honor South Asians and Indo-Caribbean's cultural heritage and diversity and show respect for the thousands of families making America their home. The safety depends if others know who they are, if others know what their culture is, what their religion is, and they should respect each other. Right now, a similar bill in the state assembly is being proposed for next year to acknowledge Diwali as a state holiday.